It has been a year since this horrific crash during qualifying at the Indianapolis 500. Look at the flames and he rolled there. That's Sebastian Bourdais losing control, coming out of turn two, hitting the wall, flipping his car. He did make a speedy recovery from his serious injuries and he returned to IndyCar racing last summer. Track Team 13 reporter Rich Nye is at the Speedway now with Bourdais' comeback story. Rich? Sebastian Bourdais had never even broken a bone in his entire life and he'd never missed a race due to an accident or injury until last year's Indianapolis 500. He had a fast car, he wanted to win the pole, but he never even finished a qualifying run. A golf ball is the only thing Sebastian Bourdais wants to hit at the Speedway this May. Man, I hit the green. The 39-year-old IndyCar driver drove a much slower vehicle at Brickyard Crossing during a day off from racing. Not far from the fairway is turn two, where Bourdais hit the wall hard in qualifying last year. I was 100% confident and comfortable, and, uh, and this place has a tendency to bite you when you get in that frame of mind. I, I got in the car and I, was gonna, I wasn't going to lift. Never let go of the throttle, so didn't have enough time. So, um, yeah, it was uh, not the smartest thing I've ever done, that's for sure. Bourdais was in the middle of the fastest qualifying run when he ignored a wiggle in turn one. So you blame yourself? Yeah, eventually I'm the one driving it. Nobody forced me to keep my foot in it. And, uh, you know, I had, I had one warning, one freebie in turn one and decided to disregard it and I paid the price. The price was a broken pelvis, hip socket, femoral neck, pubis, and a couple of ribs and the end to perhaps his best chance to win the Indy 500. It's a massive disappointment. You know, I had never had a car like that to top Fast Friday and to be kind of the, oh my God, this guy is on fire this week. And since it doesn't happen very often, you always question yourself, will, will it ever happen again? Bourdais spent about four hours in surgery the night of the crash, but made a speedy recovery. He was back racing in just over three months. The reason why I came back is because I love what I do, I'm pretty good at it, and I make a living out of it, so why would I stop? Bourdais opened this year with a win on the streets of St. Petersburg, the 37th of his career. He is sixth all-time in career wins and a four-time series champion. I know I got lucky in some respect. I mean, you know, a couple of degrees of incidents, difference, and, you know, probably would have been a fatal accident, and that's... Unfortunately, that's what we play with. Lucky twice. Bourdais plays some golf when he's not racing, but this is not the checkered flag he wants this May. And back live at the Yard of Brick, Sebastian Bourdais was sixth on the Fast Friday speed chart, but he was fifth with no toe. That means not getting any help from a draft from another car. So John and Anne Marie's got a shot at the pole this weekend. All right, well, let's hope it stays dry out there so he can get a shot and everybody else can get a shot at the pole, too. Thank you, Rich.